What is up, beauties? This is your girl, Mina, back with Simple Beauty, and I am here to give y'all a wonderful update on my hair, okay? So, um, I dyed my hair on May 30th, so if you are new here, let me do this. Let me bring it on in, y'all. If you are new here, sis, go ahead and click in so that way you are getting in on my channel, my content. I just dropped a full out series of wash and go, what a wash and go can do for you in the summertime, how you can benefit from a wash and go. So go ahead and check that out. Also, get tuned in because I am here dropping my info on dyed hair what I like about the process and what I don't like and everything else so yeah this is what this video is about I am giving you an update on my hair it's been 11 days so welcome sis go ahead and chill relax and check out my content and subscribe if you can <laughs> y'all so yeah so my hair um has been done for dyed my hair has been dyed for 11 days now and so i still have my very first wash and go in my head y'all so it is still maintaining okay so i have a list a list of things y'all i hope y'all can hear me i hope i'm enunciating my words y'all got my rubber bands in on my braces today so yeah so my hair has been dyed y'all i love this color like i said it's like a copper everything i dyed it with a copper um flaming <laughs> what was it blazing red or flaming red or something like that um as well as the ginger blonde so that is all three colors mixed together so since if you are new to this video i mixed three colors together to get this color here which is a ginger blonde y'all <laughs> I must say, I must give myself a pat on the back, honey, because I think I did darn good, okay? I did darn good. So, y'all, but like I said, it's been 11 days, and I don't want this video to be too long, so let's get right into my pros and my cons so far. I can tell you what I like and I don't like. And like I said, y'all, my fro has been like this. My wash and go has been lasting, y'all. So, it's been, well, it's been about a, a week since I did my wash and go. So, let me show you my fro. So... This was gonna be my very first thing to talk about, but let me tell y'all this. It is on my list to talk about, but you know what, we just gonna talk about it. We are gonna talk about it, y'all. First thing first, I realized how my curls are slightly loosened, okay? So my curl, slightly loosened, as well as stretched so that is something y'all do you see how more fluffed out and full my fro is like now since i've dyed my hair and i don't know if it's just a chemical process that's on my hair because y'all regardless of the matter when you dye your hair it's a chemical process sis. okay so um there's nothing natural about dyeing your hair unless you're doing henna or something else different okay so but it loosened my curl as well as it allowed my fro to be fuller. It allowed my fro to expand more. I truly believe that this chemical process has allowed my curls to be loosened as well as stretched. So you see how I just had my hair up in a pineapple, right? I realized when my hair was natural, I would have to literally do the unicorn on my head, right? The unicorn stretch. Um, and I will have to make sure my hair stays like that a lot throughout the week. No, y'all. Now that my hair is dyed, I don't have to do that. Like, my hair goes up in the pineapple and it stays stretched. And that goes into the other thing I realized. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my notes. Let me get my notes because I just want to make sure I'm... And my phone dies. Right? Like, ain't that whack? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I am back. I try to fluff my hair out a little bit more so that way I can see it. Just, when I say fluff, like running my hair, hands through my hair like this, so that way, you know, you can truly see my fro. So y'all, yeah, I'm out of breath and everything else and I feel hot. So, <laughs> y'all, my phone died on me. But, so I just wanna make sure that I'm hitting everything in my notes so that way you all are in on my thoughts and everything else, how it's been for the past 11 days, okay? so. Um, oh, I also, what, what I was going into was I realized when I first dyed my hair, right? And I did the wash and go. That is when I realized my curls were loosened slightly, not by a lot. So it's strange y'all cause how my brain tr plays tricks on me. My brain always plays tricks on me when it comes to my hair y'all. 
Um, I was just thinking to myself when I washed my hair initially, you know, I see my curl formation and everything else and y'all haven't seen my hair washed yet. So I'll do a video for, um, like a wash day with my hair and everything, but my hair is nice, curly and everything else. And it was acting the same, right? However, when I went to go do the wash and go, my curls <laughs> just wasn't springing back, honey. Like I was used to, and it's not like they weren't springing back it, like at all. It was just taking longer for them to spring back is if you know what i'm saying like they weren't retracting back like i'm so used to pulling my curl down and it bounces back right even with product on it so that wasn't happening but i knew i knew in my hearts of hearts y'all that my hair was still going to curl up it was just going to take its time because i thought to myself amina we just did a chemical process honey on your hair and your hair is a version to all of this that's going on, right? So I had to take all that into consideration. Like, okay, take it easy. Your hair is just going through its process. It's doing its thing, right? So I realized then that my hair was loosened, okay? So and that's, I was telling you, like, those two come together, honestly, because I was telling you, like, my hair, my curls are overall loosened, and I can see the fullness of my fro more now because my hair, when your curls are more loosened, it's more like it's, it's in a stretch state, okay? So you're more so stretching that strand out okay so and that's what it is y'all like my hair is a lot fuller and i do love it don't get me wrong i love it i love that i don't have to keep on stretching my hair throughout the week and everything else so definitely a pro um overall um uh, let me see what else i got here y'all oh that was another thing i realized too like moisture and like how i wrap my hair at night doesn't affect my hair anymore like it used to so my natural hair, when it was black, when it was its natural color, if I was around anything that dealt with moisture, you know our hair, when you have low porosity of hair, our hair likes to pull in moisture, okay? So with that being said, any type of steam, whenever you get some type of warmth, whenever you get some type of warm conditioning going on with steam, heat, you, our hair cuticles, right, like to expand, so they'll swell. And that's when our hair begins to pull in moisture, right? So I realized when my hair was natural, you know, my hair would love to pull in moisture and everything else. However, that means now I would have to stretch my hair again because it begins to shrivel, 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 right? So it begins to really go back into a really curl tight state. Now that my hair is like this, y'all, I noticed that my hair, like I said, doesn't shrivel up like I used to, okay? So, and it's not that it's not taking in moisture or anything like that. It's just, it doesn't go back to, it doesn't, the curls don't try to curl themselves up. You get what I'm saying? Like it takes, it's time to do that at the end of the day. And I realized even with my bonnets, like if I put my bonnets on my head at nighttime with my natural hair, please believe, honey, if my hair is not in the unicorn, um stretch formation y'all my hair will be like to my head <laughs> like literally so but if i put my hair in a pineapple like this and put my bonnet on y'all see how i just took it down so easily and how it just kind of just fell in place right so that is something i realized as well oh yeah i, I realized also like the tangles in my hair right so i always tell you y'all my love my hair loves to intermingle dance my curls love to do what they do with each other right however i realized now that when my hair is dry every little curls in their own little area okay um i don't feel like i have as many tangles but i do get tangles when my hair is dry and that is most definitely going to happen right that's always going to happen when your hair is too dry. You got friction going on in your hair and everything else. If you're not moisturizing your strands like they need to, right? So causing that slip, make sure that we're not getting hair fairies and everything else or, um, you know, single strand knots and everything else. So that's expected. It's expected for your hair to tangle when it's dry. But y'all, now that my hair is moisturized and everything else, it's like all my little curls like kind of stay in their own, not kind of, they do, they stay in their own area. So I like that as well. So that was a big benefit, y'all. So I'm saying like, well, dang, <laughs> where have you been, Di? <laughs> like, why have not been playing with y'all lately, okay? Why did I take so long to do this, okay? So that was a benefit as well. Okay, so of course, the most obvious thing when you dye your hair is how it feels, right? 
It's not your texture and everything else. We all know that texture has nothing to do with touch, right? So it's just how it feels overall, right? So I won't say that it feel like, here's the thing. I can't say that it feel like wiry, but it's more so in that category, if you get what I mean. Like I was so used to my hair feeling really supple, if you get what I mean, like smooth, okay? However, my hair now, I can't say that it's smooth, but I can tell that it's more, it has more of a wiry feel to it at the end of the day. Um, I can feel the dye on my hair and that was something I dealt with when I dyed my hair before in the past as well. So I can always tell the difference when you, when I chemically process my hair, okay? I can tell you the difference between my relaxed hair and my natural hair, okay? My natural hair, of course, is a lot more supple, smoother than my relaxed hair and everything else. So yeah, it does feel more, I, I would have to say like wiry to touch. Okay, um, and it's not like it's always oh, hard or anything like that. It's just I can feel. And y'all get no? Do you know what I mean? When you can just feel something on your hair, do you get what I'm saying? Like that's exactly how it feels. It's not like that it feels dry or anything like that because I keep my hair nicely moisturized and everything else. But yeah, of course, the feel of it is different than my natural hair. So do expect that to be a situation okay so don't expect your hair to feel the same it's not gonna feel the same y'all we have chemically processed our hair if you have ever dyed your hair um once you chemically process your hair you will feel a big difference in your hair but y'all outside of that my hair has been good okay it's been good um i'm looking forward to continuing this color journey um i won't speak too soon but i was just telling my sister like so far, I like this. I like that I don't have a lot of cons outweighing my pros. And I might dye my hair, y'all, every year if this turns out good. Like, if I really if I really feel like, you know, it's not harming my hair. Um, if I feel like, you know, overall, it's not damaging my hair strands and everything else. And I still have a healthy scalp. A sis might continue to dye her hair and have some fun. Okay, y'all, y'all already know. Like I told y'all, I need to have some fun with my hair and enjoy it, okay? So, yeah, I might continue doing that. But like I said, I don't want to speak too soon um, and everything else. But so far right now, how I'm feeling, I would love to dye my hair every year, okay? So, I might have a video coming up and let y'all know, like, hey, tell me what color y'all think I should dye it, okay? I might let y'all pick out some colors. Not no crazy colors, but we'll see. Let y'all figure out some colors for me, which I think will look good on me. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all my frow. Let me turn around for y'all. Let me turn around. I just wanted to show y'all how it looks. Like I said, this is day seven for a wash and go. Still looking good, looking good. <laughs> okay, y'all know me. All right. But it was my intense wash and go. But we're going to do some different wash and goes on my new guy on my new her i was gonna say my new her but just we're gonna do some wash and goes and we're gonna see how this bad boy holds up with other wash and go combos okay so we ain't gonna speak too soon about how it holds up and everything else i did do my intent wash and go combo on my hair so that's expected for the hold up for seven days and everything else so that's not out of the ordinary but yeah y'all i just wanted to show y'all my new her my new dye and show y'all how I'm feeling, how I like it, and everything else, and all the pros and the cons and everything else. So, pros, my fro stay stretched longer than usual. I'm enjoying it. No hair fairies, unless my hair is dry, of course. Um, I guess a con would be my curls are slightly loose, but I feel like that's a pro too, because now I don't have to really stretch my curls like I used to and everything else. So that's a pro. Now the feeling of it is not necessarily a pro. I do love my natural hair and how it felt. So that was more of a pro for me. So I guess you could say the feeling, the touch of it is a con. But overall, I love my hair and how I don't have to over stretch and everything else. Okay. So, but I know I will catch you later on my next video. So you all enjoy your day. Have a blessed and beautiful, wonderful day. And y'all, I'm going to keep y'all tuned in on my wash and go um, coming up with my my new dye okay so but until next time beauties i will catch you all later and yeah my little one is interrupting me right now so i got to go but i'll catch y'all later and you all have a blessed and beautiful wonderful day and make sure y'all hit me up in the comments below and let me know how what y'all think and how y'all feel and do y'all agree with some of the things i said today okay 
Um, but toodles. Bye-bye.